Hey everyone, happy Sunday. I uh, hope everyone had a great weekend. I know I did, but I am even more excited because I have a few fun things coming up, but we'll talk about that. But first, Julian, I want to know what you did this weekend. What'd you do? What'd you get into? Any trouble? Uh, this weekend's been another glorious weekend for me out here in the cold city of Kansas City. I'm going to tell you this. It's not the same as like Las Vegas where you know, it's still warmer than out here. There's frost on my window, but I uh, just want everyone to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, make sure to help leaving comments and telling us what you guys want to know a little bit more about all of us and what Kendra and I do on our free time outside of what you know us for. Uh, but this weekend was great, man. We watched the UFC fights. We ended up uh, getting together with the family because my brother's birthday is this week um it's on monday so we just had a, a great time spending it there you know we went to a christmas tree house i don't know how to they were hooked up their christmas lights and everything and their trees uh -huh. out front were hooked up with lights all over the place and they had it connected to the radio station so whatever song was on the radio station the christmas house was dancing to it oh that's kind of cool so that was the the house an actual tree so, house or no it was an actual house it was a person's okay. house but like it was like a christmas tree house because like there's a bunch of christmas trees out in front of the house Got that's it. why I, the only thing i could relate to it was a christmas tree i didn't know how to explain it but it, it's a lot of those like barstool sports or those cool little like public instagram accounts that always share those holiday like people that go overdo yeah. their house with christmas lights this nice. is one of those so it, it was really cool and it was even more special that they had it connected to the local radio to whatever song was playing it would literally dance it would do it if it was dubstep if it was rap if it was queen it would go to it and dance it was it was actually really cool it's first time i've ever seen that i love that now do you guys do uh, christmas lights or do you do a lot of outside decorating or are you just inside or some people don't do up much other than like a christmas tree when I was a kid, we definitely uh, did a lot more outside, but as we got older, I think it veered away. It's like things are getting a little bit more tough for just to hang it all up and it's a little bit more time consuming, but the inside of our houses are definitely Christmas trees up. We have Christmas ornaments. We have uh, Christmas like stuff on the shelf, uh, even like picture frames all up the walls. How about you guys? It doesn't look like in the boom, boom room or the, uh, the rec room downstairs, you yeah. guys got a bunch of Christmas stuff going on. Yeah, no, no, not that's yeah, this is like off limits. Uh, upstairs is it's I last night it was so funny. I was doing these usually like, okay, so do the tree, you know, get on the ladder and then the whole damn elf on the shelf, which I don't know how my elf she started out with one and now she has a fucking family of elves and a dog. I mean, it's over the top, like whoever created elf on the shelf. I want to strangle granted. They've probably made so much money. But every single night, and I know all parents can relate to this, you know, every night this, this elf moves, okay, it has a name. And it's like, it was one thing when the, the elf would go from like, okay, it moves positions. Well, you know, all you parents out there start going over the top and these, you know, these elves are having parties, they're getting into candy. And it's like, it's extra, everything is to the max. And it's like, oh, what did your elf do? Oh, you know, he just moved from my bed, you know, to my bathroom sink. He was hanging out there. Oh, mine had a party. He had music. I got him recorded. Like, come on now. Like it's, it's stressful enough. And now this damn elf on the shelf with this family, I'm over it. I, I'm, I'm done with it. So, um, yeah. So we decorate on the inside, uh, trying to move the elves every night. You have to move them to a new place. I was like, why did my elf move? I was tired, you know, trying to keep up with the house, the homeschooling and all this crap. So uh, Elf on the Shelf can suck it. I'm over it. <laughs> um, is but, it so I, I, yeah. I don't really understand the concept of Elf on the Shelf. Um, you know, I, I've been seeing a lot of cool things about it. And I'm, I'm I guess I kind of get it. But this is a real question. Does your does your little one still believe in Santa Claus? Then? She does. But she's kind of on that where she's sure, but she's not sure. But it's, it's to the point where if you don't believe, you don't receive. So you just, okay, because it's still fun for me. You're not ruining it for me, okay? I want you to still believe. So just don't, just don't, don't ruin it. So, and to some of her friends, you know, some believe, some don't. So if you believe, you receive. If not, you know, Christmas kind of gets boring. So 
I'll be happy though when she kind of comes clean um, about the the whole elf situation because right now it's it's daunting. It is every day. And hers is called the B family. They all have, you know, Brendan, Braden, the, uh, the, I mean, it's ridiculous. The, oh, and it has babies. We have a ba- we have baby elves. Like I'm over it. So you don't just have one. You have a whole entire family. Five. Of elf. You have five, five and you have to, you have to, so you have to move these every night. Every night because, right. you know, they watch you to make sure that you are behaving. So that yeah, sense. that's. You know, they watch you when you're sleeping. Like, are you behaving? Because you don't want to be on the naughty list. Well, let me tell you something. All 2020, she's been, I feel like mostly all kids have been on the naughty list. I know I have been because I've been drinking. I've been, uh, you know, more than usual, hanging out with neighbors. Like, because it's been a shit show. But um, yeah, so I don't know. Get, getting back to what we talked about. I uh, definitely decorate on the inside. Not so much on the outside this year. I just, I've got some stuff being done in the house so yeah so that's kind of my excuse there was this really cool video on uh barstool they actually posted it uh, barstool sports on instagram mm-hmm. they posted yeah. this video where it was like parents of the year and i didn't really comprehend it but one of the kids set up a camera in the corner of the house right next to the christmas tree and i'm assuming somehow they, they set this up but they had to have tied some like wires around the elf on a shelf so it shows the video of it jumping over the, like, I don't know, the couch and then crawling all the way up to the camera and then going up to the camera and like putting a hand over the camera showing that like there was no one there holding it. I don't know how that, they did it, but that basically. Was me. That was me. Legit. I had elf hanging from the balcony on a string. That wasn't me, but I've, I've done the same thing that parent did Oh, uh, and use my iPhone. I thought it was your, I thought it was your video. I honestly got thought it was your video. I was like, Oh snap. Like, dude, they didn't give you no credit. That makes but, sense. Yeah. but how does that work? So, okay. We have elf on the shelf. Um, and you know, you're a very business, you're a bit, you're a businesswoman. Yeah. You're very busy as well. Like, yeah. um, how, how do you maintain all of this right now? How are you doing all this? Operation, no sleep, like the month of December, no sleep. It's just go, go, go. Last night I did Christmas cookies, which was awesome. And of course they can't be any other cookie than sugar cookies, you know, Christmas cookie than sugar cookies because those are like traditional and the kids love the sprinkles. Sprinkles, that's another thing I feel like needs to go from Christmas because it's not just sprinkle the cookie, it's sprinkle the entire Christmas, you know, the floor of sprinkles. And I don't wanna be the jerk because my nephew's here. So, you know, and he was actually really good at, you know, I was really proud of him. Um, yeah. And I locked them out because they're trying to come down here right now. They're locked out, locked out. So, cause I knew it. I'm like, I'm locking the door. Um, yeah. So sprinkles everywhere. It's like, not just a few. <laughs> so the cookies are good. I mean, granted it's fun. And these are things that I'll miss. I get it. But in the time being, why do I have the cleaning lady come? Makes no sense. She comes three days later. I love you, Lisa. You're amazing. You make my house sparkle all of one day, but you know, that's what like, you know, family life is, you're never going to have a clean house. You know, it's going to be together, but there's going to be crumbs on the floor, handprints on the door. And that's just, you're going to appreciate those things later. So, so yeah, so it's been fun so far, but operation, no sleep for sure. Operation, no sleep. So that's how you manage Like what all, what all do you have business wise? Like, what are the things that you do? Because we know that you're, you're a, you're a mother. We know that you're a wife. Yeah. We know that you're a a successful um, adult film star. We know, I know a a couple other business uh, attributes that you have um, going on, but let's, let's tell a little bit, uh, some more people about what you do on the side. Like what are other things that you have? Yeah. So, well, obviously, well, I have just now committed to, and I just thinking about this, I have not shot professionally for another or for a company, like outside of my own stuff for my own hands since April, 2019. And I committed to shooting one scene in January of 2021. So this, it's uh, for an incredible director who I respect so much, Uh, love, love, love her work. So I agreed to do that. So, um, you know, I'll probably shoot maybe 10 scenes in 2021, just because I I miss not having to think about things and just kind of doing. Um, 
I still, you know, I'm doing, I still have my flashlight and um, also a perfect stroke. So a couple different toy deals, which are still doing well. And I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, obviously my only fans, I am, well, the podcast I'm working on, it's a mainstream project. However, I don't, I, I don't like to put the, the cart before the horse. So until I actually sign um, the contract, it, it's not real. It's not happening, but it is a small part, a regular part. Like I'm not playing some, somebody dancing on a pole or anything like that in a uh, movie in, in LA. So um, I'm excited about that. I don't know. I mean, what else? Just stuff my Spanish. And that's not really business though. I've been taking Spanish classes and my instructor is Colombian, um, Marlene, and she's great. And I am now learning past tense. Holy cow. Like I haven't even learned all of like present. So now all the endings are changing and it's, you know, when it was yo hablo, it's now for present, like I speak. Now it's yo hablé for uh, I spoke. So it's like, so it's, it's a lot. So I'm going to study on the plane tonight because I'm flying out tonight to Vegas. Oh, you're flying. Uh, that's right. You yeah. were telling us that a couple weeks ago that you're flying to Vegas. You're going to Vegas, um, which is, again, you're in December. You yeah. have your businesses. You have all the things that you have. You have your family stuff in the yeah. middle of the holiday season. Yeah. And you're going out there. We'll get back to, to how you maintain this just positive outlook. But what is it that you're doing out there in Vegas? Well, I have an interview with uh, a gentleman with UFC, Juan. And can you pronounce the last name for me? Caceres. Yes, because you say it so much nicer. Caceres. <laughs> uh, so we're going to, uh, we were going to try to shoot some photos. However, I just, I don't want to rush it. I think that his work is fantastic. He is incredibly talented and I just don't want to rush it. So we're at least going to meet up and, and, and chat a little bit. So that is awesome. I'm going to be another thing. This is just a phone thing. I'm going to be speaking with a lady who's doing a documentary over in the UK and she's going to interview me on the adult industry. So I've, uh, it's going to be interesting. Interesting. It's going to talk about how OnlyFans has helped change the industry and just kind of how it was when I started that type of thing. So I'll be doing a little piece with her while I'm out there and then I'm shooting um, I was lucky enough to get a really cool penthouse at the Aria. Usually I don't really, I don't care. Like as long as I have, you know, a nice setup, I'm fine. You know, it's just me. So, um, yeah, but it, I thought it'll be nice because I can kind of take advantage, shoot a little bit there and, um, yeah, have some space. So I, I'm excited to do it. I can't wait. It'll be fun. I'm sad that professor X can't go because he, um, I don't know. He's my buddy. He's my bestie. You know, he's, he's awesome. So I'm a little sad, but it's work oriented. So I'm going to just focus on work. Boom, boom, boom. And come home. And yeah. I think that would be fun, um, especially, you know, meeting up with Juan. I know Juan personally. I think he's great. And he does take a lot of photos, and his photos are uh, impressive. His yeah. reporting on UFC for UFC Español is spectacular. His photos he's done with some of the fighters are, you know, incredible. And he also does – and I don't know if AVN's having like a – having a convention now, right now in Vegas, I don't know exactly, but he actually just started posting. I saw it today. He posted some of, um, some adult film stars that are, you know, there? took photos or that he had yeah. photos. I don't know if the convention's there. He had a swipe up. I swiped up to like read and it yeah. talks about a convention in 2020. So I don't know if they have it right now in Vegas. I don't know what's going on, but he's showing a lot of his photos that he has there and, and they're, they're awesome. But, uh, one unique thing about him, is that there's every artist has a like a certain style like uh -huh. and some of them I, I love like you know some people like to paint uh like faces some people like to paint um eyes some people like to take photos with eyes there's a the one of the coolest ones is the 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 eyes with no face and it's a guy that does uh -huh. paintings and it's all it is is people's eyes but by looking at the eyes, you know exactly what character this person is. It could be RoboCop. It could be Freddy Cougar. It could be Jason. It could be anyone. So that's that. And Juan has his own style. He loves taking photos of fighters' hands. 
It is some of the most iconic photos that you see of fighters' hands. And they'll be placed in certain areas, certain play, uh, certain just like positions getting wrapped. And they're all over the UFC. They're all over like articles and stuff. And it's just his niche. So don't be, don't be shocked if he has to take photos of your hands. He does it, but it's just, yeah. it's impressive. Yeah, um, it's different. I do have some glitter nails, like for, I like it for the, um, for sure. uh, the holidays. I was like, what should I get? Professor? Is that, did you get that this, this week for your shoot? I did. And matching toes. Yeah, you have to. Who are all the people that you're doing? Because you said you're shooting with them. We know Mm -hmm. you're doing your business side, like shooting with the UFC, talking to them, um, interviewing uh, with the UK girl about your future or what's the, how things have changed in life. But now let's get a little bit into your, to you. And you're going out there to shoot. And what film stars or what people are you shooting with right now? So, well, you know, side note too, though, real quick, before we get into that, I, um, it was, let me mention this, uh, beautiful, beautiful legend. Uh, yeah, she's pretty much legendary status at this point, veteran, um, business savvy, um, performer. And I actually need to get back to her. <sighs> um, Alexis Texas has an, uh, our podcast. And she asked me if I would be interested in, potentially being on hers. So I need to get back with her. And I thought that was kind of cool. She has her own. So I am going to reach out to her and see if we can't schedule something, but first shooting. So I will be working with Katie Kush. So we are debating whether we're just going to do a scene together or if we want to go live and do like a live show, which I always think live is fun, especially when you have someone else. It's just, I don't know. It, it, so I think we might do both. So with I, her. I met her, I met Katie back yeah. whenever you guys came in. Um, short little thing, blonde girl. Yeah. Uh, she's a fit, she does fitness or something. I don't know. She looks pretty stacked to be honest. Like yes. when I met her there. Um, but, uh, you know, I did some research on her and they showed that she's a little bouncer. That's what they called her. A, little a lot bouncer. of her videos are bouncers. She likes to bounce up and down. Yes, she is fun. She is sweet. She's, I believe, I don't, I think she wears her glasses in pretty much all of her scenes. I think that might be her little, you know, so what sets her apart. Her artist um, niche. Yes. Is she, and, um, is she, so is she an energetic, uh, like person whenever she's doing like shows? Cause when we were there at the, the party that we were at that night, when I met her, uh-huh. She was very energetic. She was dancing. She was moving. She fun. was, and, you know, yeah. she's a fun, like a, she's literally yeah. a fun size. She's the fun size candy bar. She, That's is. What she is. Yeah. And we, um, I won't go too much into the type of script just because, you know, we don't want to get too, but it'll, it'll be entertaining. Um, maybe some taboo stuff. So we'll see. So just whatever the, whatever they're requesting, I, you know, I aim to please, but not always, you know, within reason. Okay. Some taboo stuff. Are we talking about, are we talking about, are you playing the ma? What? I'm not going to say. Okay. Okay, Fair enough. Who else do you got going on? All right. So I have the beautiful brace yourself. I have never shot a scene with a, um, I don't even know how oh, I would say it's political. I just want to make sure I'm not offending anyone. Emma Rose. She oh, the, is she's transgender. Yeah. She's a, yeah, she's transgender. Yeah, yeah. One of the strongest, she's, biggest yeah. names out there. She is absolutely just, she's beautiful. And I am excited to try something new. I feel like it's the best of both worlds. I am a huge supporter of, um, I don't know, gay, lesbian, I think I just, for me personally, I don't judge anyone based on anything because again, I don't know where they've come from. I don't know their support system. I don't know anything about them, right? For me to just judge based on what somebody does for a living, um, what color they are, who or what they believe in or their sexual orientation. So for me, I love people of all shapes and sizes and all, you know, different types. So I am excited. Um, I I feel like uh, the trans community is really misunderstood. I am still learning about that. Uh, I'm still learning about myself and my own sexuality. So um, anyway, all I know, 
She's beautiful. I am so, so, it's more than excitement though. I'm intrigued. It's like a little bit of mystery. Uh, I'm nervous, but um, I'm ready. So yeah, Absolutely. I think that's going to be my most, for me, that's going to be, um, I'm excited. I can't even explain it. Like I have a little chills. So. You've been you've been in the you've been in the game for a while, and this is the first time. I don't know. She's not transgender. She's transsexual. That's what yeah, it, she's, I, I she's don't ever. Female. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know which one it was, but I know <laughs> that she's one of the biggest performers. Um, you know the transsexual performers out there. Um, she's had a lot of feedback. Uh, okay. And I think it's awesome. I think it's cool because you've been in doing this for a long time, and this is the first time you've ever done anything with yeah. a transsexual. Because you, you've done you know, girl on girl and you've yeah. done guy on guy, mm -hmm. you've done multiple like things like that, but this would be your first transsexual yeah. video. Like, it, is this going to, this is only on your OnlyFans. You're not doing anything like, um, for a company or anything like that. No, absolutely not. Uh, I'm not opposed to it. However, if it's going to be my first, I want it to be on our terms, you know, her and I to be comfortable with what we're shooting and I want to make it fun. I want to make it dirty. I want to make it, you know, just, ah, I just want to make it good. And that's, it's, it's pretty cool that you're, you're diving into that. Cause again, like, to be honest, there's no, in, in the porn industry, like there's no, like, I, I don't know how to explain it. There's no like blockage when it comes to, you know, girl on girl, guy on guy and the mix, like relationship, there's no, it's all open. Like I've never heard anyone that's in the, that's in the scene or that's in the industry that ever just like, Oh no, they don't like that. Like, that's not for me. Like they're all intrigued by it. They'll never bash it. They're always open to it. And I think it's awesome. And uh, I think it's going to be different too, because it's, it's, it's girl and girl, but it's still guy and girl at the same time. So it's very, I wonder what you guys are going to end up doing. So oh, I, I have, yeah, I have not much time to, well, I, I've already been in contact with her. So kind of, you know, shooting around, not shooting around, but like tossing out ideas and, and I want to make sure she's comfortable. And um, yeah, I mean, I do have some cool gadgets I'm trying to be, you know, that I can bring. So I have a toy box. When you when you film this, are, is it going to be like you guys post up a camera on the side of the bed and do your thing, or you put up a, the the computer monitor, or do you actually have like a, a group of guys or girls or whoever it may be holding a camera, you know, moving yeah. around, action, cut, split, whatever? How does that work? I have. We're going to do both. Uh, while I'm there, I do have a. I'm fortunate enough to have a crew of people who will just be there to uh, record and, and or video, a videographer, I should say. So that'll be great lighting. I mean, everything's gonna be ready. So I am gonna do, I, the plan is to do a little bit of both. So the fans that like more of the real, then they get a taste of that. And then the fans that like more of a, you know, professional scripted, not scripted so much, but just more of a professional look, uh, the cinematography will be, you know, a lot better. So I'm doing both. Yeah. What, um, <laughs> I'm like, I, I like that. This is the thing too, is I, and, and this kind of talking about that. Now I'm bouncing. The average viewer of your, like of your films, of your things, how many minutes or hours or seconds do you think they watch per each film? Or do you think they like shuffle through like Netflix to find the right one of you? Cause you have a lot of fans that are all in and sure. this one, like, are they going to watch the whole video or are they going to watch just like 25 seconds or however long they last? Like, what do okay, you think you're average? That's is? a good question. I'm really actually glad you asked that question, Julian, because I think that, you know, I'm hoping my fans are receptive. I understand that I'm going to do things and not everybody is going to like what I do. Some people say, oh, I liked when you had highlights in your hair. Or oh, I like this. So I feel like everyone is going to have a different opinion and some fans might not even like it ultimately. And I'm not, sorry, I'm, it's very important in Michigan to stay hydrated right now um, because it's very dry. What um, is that, KY? It's, <laughs> you know, it's a philosophy, just a brand, but it, it's pretty good. It's really moisturizing, um, but it is white and creamy. Jesus. Um, 
sorry. I'm getting ready. Can you tell I'm starting to get into a different mode? You're excited. Yeah, I am. So the, um, oh my gosh. Okay, so the question is, so you're never going to be able to please all your fans. And ultimately, you just want to be able to give them something new. And it's been a while. So thank you guys so much for being patient and understanding that I'm not local and I have to travel do the stuff. So yeah, so um, I think they're going to like it. But I think it depends. Some It depends on like what type of viewer you are. If you like just no buildup, no um, anticipation, you're a gonzo guy. Okay, gonzo means no words. There's a girl, you know, doing a little dance and then the guy sees her and then, you know, they come in and it's like, boom, or you're the type of, or it depends on your mood, mood, right? You're the viewer that, you know, oh, you, you build this fantasy in your head. And then, you know, there's that type of, um, film, you know, so you might watch a little bit longer. Then there's the feature guys or girls where they like to watch an entire movie with a lot of different sex in it. So it really just depends, you know, if you're more of a, a little bit deeper, I guess, then you would go to the feature. But I think most guys average 10 minutes. 10 average. minutes. Five 10 to minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. Five All right. That means you were. Scene. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Five to 10 minutes of a scene. Okay. So an actual scene. Like if they're, they're watching, I, I don't think they're going to last. I think they're just, they look at your scene and they get their job done in two to three minutes when they find the right spot. Okay. That's yeah. It. Look, okay, I've done yeah, a lot a of research. I've done a lot of research ever since I've been on this thing with right. this podcast with you. I have literally lost the enjoyment of watching porn for the reasons why I watched it before. Now I watch it to look at these people and kind of figure out, okay, who it is. All right. Katie Cush. Katie Cush is a very energetic girl that sits there or doesn't sit there. Well, she technically does. But she's a very energetic girl when she's in there. And I see yeah. her like she's bouncing around. She does everything. She's fun and she's very flexible. <laughs> then you had Emma Rose, first mm -hmm. time I ever watched something, you know, with yeah. a transsexual uh, performing. And it's mm -hmm. just like I I'm watching it and having no like no thoughts about it. And no like intriguing. I'm sitting there like, OK, so what is she going to do and how is she going to play this out? And it's like yeah. I I'm doing this stuff as research purposes, mm -hmm. but it's very different now than what it used to be because yeah. it used to be just we're late at night bored and can't go to sleep and right? relax and it's going to get me to where it is and i'm scrolling through like netflix trying to figure out the right exact perfect video that i want it can't be yeah. a, at a home camera it has to be hd we get the hd it has to be an entertaining <laughs> one it can't be it can't be too much of like scripted but it has yeah. to be fun and the person just has to look at the camera and talk to me. That's right. You know? Yeah. You're a POV guy. Not I really. Like I don't like POV. Oh, I, like I love it. POV. Do you? Well, how, why do you not like it? It's like, she's talking to you or yeah. That's because for me, when I watch, watch it, it's usually I watch women and I imagine I'm the man. I watch women too. And you but imagine no. you're the man. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, that 100%. Work? I don't know why I'm wired that way. I have no clue because inside is like a dirty old man, I think. Well, yeah. I wouldn't say old, but like, I can be creepy. Like I'd be like creeping on girls, you know, in the locker room. I'm like, this is not cool, but eh, I kind of like it. You're, I don't know. I, I can't help how I'm wired. So I'm a POV girl. I guess you and I have the both same mentality when it comes to looking at that. <laughs> I, I just don't, the thing is, I don't like the POV um, just cause it's it just like, I don't, I don't like the film, the style of how the film comes out. Um, okay. It just, it just, I just don't like that type of videography. I, I don't, I it, it reminds me too much of like there. a video game. Yeah. It's, and plus I don't like it on a phone. Like it just, maybe if I had the virtual reality glasses, how they do it like that, it yeah. just doesn't, it doesn't do that to me. Like when I watch, like when I watch it, I'll watch the girl on girl and I'll just sit there and just kind of like, I'll kind of enjoy it, but okay. I also enjoy the words that they say to each other. Cause I take those same exact words and <laughs> use them when I talk to girls. I'm like, got you. Cause girls know best. Right. Yes. Right. Kendra knows best. You Kendra knows best. There you go. Well, there's a there's a segment right there. See, this is what you should say during sex, and this is what you shouldn't say. Right. And trust me, I've had a lot of uh, shouldn'ts in my life. But uh, regardless, how, what's next? What's what 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 other people are? Because there's no way you're just doing two. Yeah. No. No. Um. I'm filming with, and he is one of the most underrated performers and it really kind of ticks me off that 
he's never really got the recognition that he deserved and or that he deserves still to this day you know so many girls request to work with him he's an incredibly professional clean awesome i mean on film and off off camera just a really awesome down to earth tell it like it is guy i respect him immensely and they just i don't know what it is like i said there's a lot of politics but we won't get into that uh, I am so excited to be able to work with Prince. Again, we haven't worked together in a long time okay. and I'm going to attempt a different type of scene with him. And I won't say what type of scene. However, I think the fans will know that I have not done this type of scene with um, a black performer. So uh, we'll leave that to them. And um, yeah, cause I don't want to get too much on the, you know, talk about too much, but it'll be a first for me as well. So Whew, I'm hoping I can relax enough to be able to do this. Uh, it sounds very interesting. And I feel like from our uh, podcast prior, from what you're talking about, I think I understand what you guys are going to do. Um, uh, but if you have to relax, that's what we relax. Relax. But yeah, Prince is actually a really, um, a really known performer. He's in a lot of videos, which is crazy that yeah. he's not as, as big as it is. And it has to be like male performers are never going to get, the love that they get even well, though you see them because i see a lot of these guys in like the people that you tell me hey you should look at this person yeah. or hey i'm gonna work with this person and i'll like look at a lot of their videos and i see the same the same guy in different videos like prince as well yeah. or um oh, man, well, mick blue exactly. Karen Lee, johnny sins johnny castle you know so you see them in a, lot of them. You yeah, see them in a lot of them and they just aren't they aren't as pushed as highly as like, you know, the girls like Riley Reed, um, Kendra Lust, uh, you know, Alexis, Texas. Alexis Texas. I mean, all of these amazing, incredible uh, performers. And it's, you know, it's, but, you know, the men, I think they get it. They're equally as important. However, obviously the girl most of the time sells the scene. Um, I just felt he's not as recognized award wise where he should be. Why don't so, we just start doing our own awards and we start yes. giving out, we start yeah. literally putting together our own award system yeah. on here and have people vote. We'll create the website and put them out there. Cause again, yeah. it's no different than in MMA. And if we can relate yeah. it to MMA, because look, I love, I love women. Everybody loves women, but it's easier to blow up into stardom as a female than it is, it is a male. You yeah. know, you have fighters out there that are, undefeated right now that are big prospects mm -hmm. that don't get a lot of push by the you know by whatever you know promotion they're in yeah but then you get a girl with uh, a nice rack and a good smile and she can be one and four in whatever promotion yeah. she is but they're going to keep pushing her because more guys like to look at them which i don't blame it right but it sells you know um it's you know sex sells you know so